Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you how to make some of these cool batik backgrounds. It's pretty easy. This one has a stencil, they're made with stencils. Let's put those aside and what you're gonna need, you're gonna need assortment of little brushes or Kennel for color bursts or TCW color sparks powder in various colors. You're gonna need some watercolor paper. You'll be working on the smooth side. And you're gonna need your water sprayer. And you're gonna need paper towels. Paper towels. Okay, and I'm gonna start out by getting this first wet on the bumpy side, okay? Get it nice and wet, and I'm gonna lay it here on the paper towel, see? And then I'm going to get this super wet, really saturated, okay? And I think I'll start with the turquoise here. And I'm just gonna drop some on. And I'll let that kind of do its thing. And I like to take a brush of some kind and get this wet and clear out that heaviness. I don't like it to be heavy like that. I'll just take my brush and move it around. But I do want it to be nice and dark. You can see how wet that is. And you're just gonna kinda pick it up and move it around. And I get it everywhere, it just is what it is. I'm just gonna move that around. Okay. Once I've got the blue on, I'll dump some off. And just kinda tip it back and forth. Give it a click off. You want your paper to be a little bit bigger than the card size you're working with. Okay, so I've got the blue on. Now I wanna go in with some Terra Verde Green. I'm gonna get it wet again. Nice and wet. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this in a couple of spots. You can do any colors you like. And again, I like to move it around, move it around. Try and avoid those hard spots if possible. Get some more water on there, get it moving. Yeah, get that moving around. Honestly, most of the time I do this with my fingers. And then I wanna just start tipping it back and forth. Again, just getting that color moving. And, yeah. and splatter it everywhere, which is okay. Again, I'm not worried about these edges because those are gonna get trimmed off. I'm gonna tip that down, tip it off a bit, tip it back, let it move. We just want some good heavy color, okay? And we try to avoid getting it just in one single spot. So, okay, let's get this wet. I want it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go in with this Color Sparks turquoise and sprinkle some on. Put that baby down. This is a nice deep dark. I definitely want to move that around. Okay, I pretty much like the way it looks there. I want it a little bit more towards the edge here. I'm going to tip it off and then tip it back. And by now you're really wet. You're really wet. And you might be really blue too. 
And so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my heat tool and I'm gonna dry this. And I'm gonna move this around some and just really work it back and forth, work this in, work it back and forth like this. I can keep those colors moving around. here, work it down into the drippies. I don't like the way something looks. Clean this way. Water likes to find its own path sometimes. I have to help it out. Once you've got it pretty dry, I'm gonna get your paper towel out of there. Mop up as much as you can, and then continue to dry. And we want this 100% dry. And it's okay if it gets warpy because I'm gonna send it through my mink. Will get warpy. Dry it the back side. Flip it over, dry here again. It's okay if you get little grips like that. And I'll just kind of rub on it while I'm working it. Backside is still really wet. You really want to get dry these really wet spots so they don't wrinkle. Just kind of work the paper as you're drying it. I'm going to get out my mink. And I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait for that to warm up. And I have this little carrier that I made. Look at my fingers. And I'm just going to place the paper inside the carrier and wait till this heats up. Meanwhile, I'll try to get some of this crap off my hands. Like up there. You see this is flashing. Once it's ready, it'll be green. Hmm. Sorry about the flashy light. Let's turn it off. Okay. Hope you can see okay still. That light didn't like going at the same time as this. <laughs> Want it to be good and hot. The main thing I want to help dry the paper and I want to get the warps out. It takes it about two minutes to completely heat up. All my lights are flashy because of it. <laughs> Just because my air, I've got the air running and all these lights on. And you don't have to put it in a carrier sheet, but I put it in the carrier sheet because I don't want to get ink or moisture in my mink. 
Okay, now we're ready. Just gonna send that through. Oh, the flashy light will bug the crud out of me. I like to kind of hold it up as it's coming out. That'll be hot. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's flat enough. We'll go ahead and shut off the mink. Get it out of the way. my stencils here and let's see here I think we'll use this this leafy one from Catherine Pooler and you're not even gonna believe how easy this is I'm just gonna lay it on the paper let's get the light back on now that's better I'll lay it on the paper I'm gonna take my paper towel here See it okay? And I'm just gonna douse it. I'm gonna get it really wet. Really wet. Make sure it's wet all over. Okay, and I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna gently lay the wet part onto where my stencil is and press. Just gonna massage that in. Don't want to move my stencil around or anything. But you see it's picking up ink there. And I'm gonna leave that for a few seconds. And then pull off and reveal our beautiful batik. You see, now we've got a nice batik background. Now, what I like to do is take a mask that I made, and before I do it, where did it go? Where did you go, little brown mask? It must be over here. I just made this with a piece of um, laminate paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down to the card size that I want. So I'm gonna do this one five and a quarter. By four, I think I want to keep the dark side. Oh, I got that pretty crooked, didn't I? Five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to, I'm gonna lay this over and make sure I have it centered where I want it. Right about there is fine. I'm gonna take the same paper towel I think I'm just going to kind of fold it in half, get it a little bit more wet. And I'm just going to take and lay it right there and do the same. So that I can have a lightened center. And lift it off that off. There, we've got, got ourselves a little spotlighted vignette and it'll lighten some more as it dries. And I want to wipe up my mess here and then I'm going to take my regular heat tool. I'm just going to heat this and get it nice and dry because it's wet. And I like to just kind of rub it with my hand while I'm doing it lightly to kind of flatten it down. Backside a little bit. Just make sure it's all nice and dry. There we go. 
And we've got our nice little batik background. Okay, well, that's all there is to it then. You can do your stamping. Pretty easy, right? Again, I'll show these again. Um, this one, I used the boho circle from Simon Says Stamps. And for this one, I used this stencil right here. This is a paper rose stencil. And for this one, I used the same technique, but I darkened around the edges. This one, uh, where did the stencil go? I lost it somewhere. I can't find it. Oh, for this one, I used this stencil right here. I think it's from Hair Arts. And this one, you can barely see the bubbles, but I used a bubble stencil. And then this one, same technique, just a different color. And then this one, same technique, just a different color. So there you go. There's that. For part two, we're going to stamp this background.